Welcome back to the last video in our Camping in France series. We are Annalise and Jordan and we usually live full time in our Sprinter van. However, we fancied a different kind of adventure. If you've not seen the previous two videos, go and check them out now. <laughs> Cribbing with boots. Because it's Converse and Robin. <laughs> Look at you, you little sass queen. What? Look well, nice. <laughs> it's crazy because everywhere in France, everywhere shuts at two o'clock, doesn't it? Yeah. And then opens at like seven. <laughs> so it's like, what is it, like ten till two, then like seven till nine or something that weird. Yeah. So we've found a place called The Little Place. It's really nice. It's so nice. It is. Like just, just in the middle of like the street. We just had a little look um, at the, what is it, the, uh, State agents and the house is a 1.7 million. In. Yeah, around the same. <laughs> so maybe we could afford it in a, in a couple more YouTube <coughs> videos. Yeah, hit subscribe. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Oh, chicken, chorizo, look at all that sauce. Oh my god. Oh, Best burger we've ever had. Oh 10 out God. of 10. And for two of us, so uh, two meals uh, with chips as well and a drink, 28 euros. So this is what it looks like on a sunny day. Unfortunately, we've got cloud. Can you some new sneakers? New sneakers, man. I'm gonna get down with the crumpets. <laughs> the crumpets? Cool kids. Not because I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. The Intersport Outlet. Intersport Outlet, bro. That's not the one that I'm actually going to. There's one further in there, but I'm gonna have a look in it. What, in the Intermarche? Right. seem to find uh, my size shoes, but you've got a pair of them. <laughs> Both got our new shoes. <laughs> Love a good shopping trip, don't we? Oh, you can't be ticking it. Not better than spending money. <laughs> so you look at your bank balance. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. Shouldn't have spent that. This shop sounds everything. That sticker. <gasps> it's a sticker. Are you going to put that? Where should we stick it? Stick on the car? It on the window, yeah. On the back? On here. You reckon? Oh no, I don't know. Oh, we love a good sticker. Where should we put it? The. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks more like it. There we are. Got a lot better than them bloody boots. Boom. Show us. I can put them. Smile them, aren't they? Bloody lovely. No. We've come to an area called Dinard. Dinard, yeah. Dinard. Looks really nice when we were driving through. Was, wasn't it? We were about to park a little bit further out and we were walking. Yeah. It was a nine mile away from the bloody place where we need to be. I know, <laughs> some, some we went to a car park, was like, yes, a car park. Some man was in front of us and just got the last space. So. Yeah, you're not told everyone spark. about all the builders beeping you. <laughs> <laughs> Thought they were beeping me, so we'll give them a wave. <laughs> <laughs> Beach is absolutely stunning. They've got like little changing rooms, like in the wall. How cool is that? So obviously the beach is there and get changed. Oh, we've got toilets as well. That's good, isn't it? Handy if you're uh, surfing or you've been out 
Sure on the water. Sit down and put your wetsuit or whatever. Yeah, it's just even trying to get your socks back on after you've been in the sea. <laughs> a nightmare, <laughs> isn't it? Bouncy, they've got bouncy castles everywhere in France. It's really good, haven't they? Pirate ship bouncy castle as well, isn't it? <laughs> There's a good one there. Just gonna go and find where this. Um, the pool, where the pool is. Yeah. Is he? Climbing wall looks good. Climbing wall looks bad. <laughs> Obviously can't film it because there's, uh, there's kids on there. <laughs> does look good. We found the pool but it's a bit dry. So that's meant to be a pool. And obviously the sea. I'm going to drop a picture in now what it's meant to look like. The water looks beautiful though. Right. You could just imagine with the blue skies it's going to look crystal. guys so we're up and ready I think it's about 10 o'clock so 9 o'clock back in UK time we're gonna head out for the day maybe go and catch some breakfast see what's around Jordan's on his pan of chocolates we got a pack of 10 and I think it was like 150 in the Aldi and these cookies how nice do they look? So we've got our snacks ready. Let's go. Update. We didn't get very far. The car's, I wouldn't say broken down, but no. broken down. It needs a coil pack, basically. Yeah. We put one on a while back, but you usually get in these cars, they get that warm that they just break down. So this one's been on probably 30 40 thousand mile hasn't it and then just yeah. gone so it, it's been a bit juddery we yeah. made our way probably about five minutes away from the campsite and jordan was like no we need to turn around and get back to the campsite yeah, before it, it fully it, goes we, it stopped running and then the engine light come on and then it took a bit to start up and then it started up the engine light went off pain in the back so didn't it? Um, good job luckily i got um breakdown cover so we've got green flag breakdown cover i give him a ring and i said basically we we just need the part jordan can fit it himself it's just the language barrier obviously we're getting the translator when we're ringing garages around here but then they're speaking back in french but fast i'm like oh get so. yourself one of these as well so you know exactly what the problem is but we already knew anyway because it's happened to us once before isn't it yeah so anyway um the man's sorting it for us we've got um like a local breakdown people that coming work out. with green flag coming out now so they said that there'll be 30 minutes so let's see what happens hopefully he gets us the part and then we don't yeah. have to mess around yeah you just put it on and get back out and about yeah hopefully yeah like you said he can just get the part and we don't have to faff around going to any garages or anything no. we literally just need the part no i'm good mm. so we'll keep you updated anyway mm. A trip with Steps to Adventure never goes without its problems. <laughs> Always bring yourself some cookies to look on the bright side. <laughs> so basically this is what the issue is. Underneath this cap here, you have this here. I'll show you, let me just take this off. You have this section here, this bar. And then that is basically a coil pack and there's four coils coming off this one two three four so there's four coils coming off that basically what they do is i don't know if anybody knows about box or courses or box holes in general they tend to go quite a lot the elements break down inside and then you start getting misfiring and that's what we're getting um i took it off to check it and it is it's game over for that i'll tell you that now um so hopefully if this guy can bring us a coil pack then i'll put the coil pack on but then tomorrow i'll go to an auto part and i'll pick up some spark plugs as well and just put them in for what, it, for what it's worth probably get a bit better fuel economy as well considering it's been misfiring so all good it's been about 25 minutes he told us to meet him at the reception so we're just gonna walk down on the app though it still says he's um, 40 odd minutes away and it's not moved so I don't know we'll see I think this is us the guy's just been 
um, basically he wanted to take the car to a garage um, and he wasn't sure whether he had the part in stock, he said he's not a mechanic um, but obviously he wanted to take us back to the garage to see if they've got it but it might only be fixed maybe on Tuesday so we've, um, we've obviously said no because all our stuff's in the car and we're with the tent and we'd be stuck so um, he's gone, he was absolutely lovely um, but now we need to contact, well go to reception ask them if they can find us a garage that sells the bar basically the reception are calling a few garages for us um, obviously because the language barrier we can't understand what they're saying back but we're having an issue because the cars are Vauxhall which is General Motors um, and yeah most of Europe don't really have them parts if we'd have had a Renault Clio it would have been sweet <laughs> um, so we're just gonna they need the some numbers so you know like make and models yeah. type numbers and the fella so we're um, gonna go and grab who recovered them. us wanted to take the I've already car told them to, that. Oh, have you? Well, I've he wanted to take the car that. to a garage anyway, and um, we all know what the outcome of taking a car to a garage is. £600, £700 for a car uh, that's €70. Euros. Yeah. Not happening. So we're going to go and get the numbers off um, my logbook and bits like that, and hopefully um, the lady in reception can Either get the part us or a... order as the part, and then we can just fit it. It takes hopefully. literally not even a minute to fit. Five hours later. So we're at a loss with a car. Can't do anything about it till Tuesday because they're off Monday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. And then um, Monday is like a Labour Day, like a bank holiday. So they're off Monday as well. So Tuesday is the only time we can literally like do anything. In it. It's gone proper warm now. <laughs> Good, doesn't it? We've given, it's too nice just to go for a walk and get something to eat in a restaurant. We're gonna go and get the kayak. So I've just jumped in the car, bear in mind the car's still running quite rough. Yeah, it's still misfiring quite a bit, but I'm not asked, I'm going to drive it because um, I've not got far to drive, like two minutes down the road so I can park up and get the kayak right by the water so yeah, I've got my socket set in the back so I'm just pretty sure we'll be able to get it started back up worst case scenario and we'll get down on the kayak Come on slow ass Checking these will move, I reckon they'll just look good We've made it to the beach of the dodgy coral pack and the Corsa has not let us down. Le Corsa. Le Corsa. Ready to go. In the banana boat. This is us, ready to go out into the big blue. We've got the uh, Intex K2 Explorer. We're just going to get out and about and just see what we can see, eh? You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. It's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, it's just relaxing. The water's so clear as well, isn't it? Oh, it's super clear. I think I'm just going to carry on being a passenger princess, like usual. Why change it now? Would you call it a passenger princess when you're getting soaked? I know, this is the thing isn't it, if you're at the front, you get soaked. I met an old man I said tell me your story He took out an old man And wrote 
something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Jordan's drink driving. <laughs> We're parked up, don't worry, we're at the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drive, we brought down. <laughs> we've got a takeaway, so we've got what did you get? A pizza and two burgers, I think. Yeah. Is that what it is? Pizza yeah. and two burgers. And we're watching Harry Potter. We've got all of them downloaded, so we're gonna start from the beginning. But yeah, we're just gonna chill out. Maybe go out tomorrow got the heater on my toes. That feels <laughs> lovely, doesn't it, down there? Nice and warm in here, though, isn't mm. it? So we're packing up now, guys. Um, yeah, kind of had enough now. I think we've just booked on an earlier ferry to get home. Um, yeah, it's just had enough of it. With the weather being quite bad, the prices being just astronomical, and obviously people are only willing to help so much. That we've just decided to just call it quits. Throw our stuff in the car and try and baby the car to the ferry port. Hopefully I can, we can get it to back to the UK and then there's a Euro car parts just right at the ferry port as well. So I'll just throw a new car pack and spark plugs in and then head We'll be back, back in the, the van soon. Well, to Spain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. So the next trip, well, I say the next trip, but the next one abroad will be definitely Spain. Um, we're just going to miss France off altogether. But yeah, it's been good. We've had we we've had fun, but with the prices just being what they are, and yeah, no, it's just for us it's not worth it. But for other people, it probably is. Look at the mess in here. It's absolutely crazy. Oh, and I'm going to be honest, the croissants and the pan au is just the same in Tesco. <gasps> we changed the ferry for the next morning and headed to a campsite right next to the ferry port. I feel right right now. Daniel Ricciardo at the Monaco Grand Prix when he had, um, I think, didn't he have a failed NGK, was it? Or NGU, Some sort of DNF I can't remember. Anyway. But he had like a DNF and he was driving and the car was failing. And he was leading the Monaco Grand Prix and he friggin' finished. Right now, that's where I feel like the car's misfiring like hell. It's really struggling to, got to run. Three minutes to go. And we're three minutes from our destination. And do you know what? We'll do it. We will do it. Even if we have to push it. If the breakdown company won't help us, we'll have to help yeah. ourselves. So they've got us in one night. 21 euro. Oh, I'm a bit cock eye there. Um, no swimming pool, but we wouldn't use it anyway, would we? No. So it's all good. But we've got a lovely view. I think we're right at the back and we've got a lovely view over the sea and the ferry port and stuff. So. Thumbs These arrows up. don't make sense. We've just got to the pitch, but it's like sloping right down but the lady in reception did say that if we weren't happy with the pitch that she could move us so Jordan's just scoping out like another pitch maybe just a bit flatter so we don't get um, all the blood rushing to our head when we're sleeping <laughs> That's the ferry port straight in front of us Oh there's that pirate ship Lee It's come in so yeah, the uh, ferry port's right in front of us, which is handy because that's what we needed. We needed to be close. So we could try and make it to the ferry and hopefully get to the other side. I need to check my email, but I'm sure I've paid um, £80 extra to change it from G 
Cebog to Pool to San Malo to Pool Pool or Portsmouth Don't matter either one Pool or Portsmouth, whichever one And sailing tomorrow at half ten instead of on Wednesday Yeah, so it's tomorrow at half ten but I think it's an eight hour sailing is it? Is it eight hours? Yeah. yeah. Sorry to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger. We didn't pick the camera up um, after that, but we made it home safe. AA met us at the ferry port. That's just Lily. <laughs> um, yeah, they met us at the ferry port, changed the call pack for us, managed to drive home, all sorted. Join us next week to see what we've been up to. If you liked the video please hit like and subscribe it really helps us out and drop us a comment on where our next road trip should be see you next week <laughs>